Chuck Schumer sent out a letter today to his Democratic colleagues in regards to the two packages that are currently on the table and his plan for moving forward with both of them. Also, the Problem Solvers Caucus is back in the spotlight once again. Let's get into it and talk about all of the latest details as of right now. Hey everybody, welcome. Thanks so much for joining me as always. I hope you're having an awesome day so far. If you haven't done so yet, please make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video. It is totally free to do so. One of the last few things that is free these days as prices continue to rise on essentially everything out there. But it is totally free to subscribe and to watch all of my videos right here on the channel. Thank you. I truly appreciate it. And let's talk through this. So yes, the Problem Solvers Caucus is back in the spotlight once again. Now, we don't, we don't hear from this group all that often. However, when we do, it's usually something pretty interesting and we want to be all ears because they usually have some pretty good stuff that comes out of them. However, they were out endorsing this $1.2 trillion bipartisan package that was put together by those 20 uh, Republican senators and Democratic senators just about a week or probably about two weeks ago now. So the Problem Solvers Caucus was out and they said, hey, we like it. Let's do it. We show our support. We back it up. Let's get this thing done. So that's nice that we actually have more people supporting this thing because the more, the better, right? The more support we get across the board, the more people that will come onto this thing and just get it done as quickly as possible, which is what we really need so we can move on to the next package, the American Families Plan. With that being said, Chuck Schumer was out today in a letter to his Democratic colleagues, letting them know what's going to start to happen starting next week when they are back in session for a few weeks before they leave once again for their summer recess. With that being said, I'm going to bring my wife in right now, Corey. She's going to read that letter to you from Chuck Schumer to his Democratic colleagues, and then I will catch you again in just a minute, and we can go through what he said to his Democratic colleagues. All right, Corey, take it away, and I'll see you in just a minute. Dear colleague, as Senate Democrats prepare for the upcoming work period, we must approach our work with the same unity and urgency that we have embraced all year. We have already made excellent progress towards our goals of rebuilding our nation's infrastructure, confronting the threat of climate change, and investing in American families. Just last month, President Biden signed the Senate's Congressional Review Act resolution nullifying President Trump's methane emissions rule. Next week, millions of American families will receive their first monthly child tax credit checks enacted through the American Rescue, Rescue Plan. And every day, vaccines continue to make their way across the country thanks to the emergency funding that we provided earlier this year. There are, these are just some of the ways we're showing the American people that electing Democratic majorities to Congress makes a big difference, but there is more work to be done. As the country continues its rapid recovery from the COVID crisis, thanks to the American Rescue Plan, our legislative focus will soon turn towards laying a strong foundation for the future. When the Senate returns to session, we will keep working to pass President Biden's American Jobs and Families Plan. As I have said for weeks, discussions about infrastructure have continued steadily along two tracks. On the bipartisan infrastructure track, our committees are working tirelessly with the White House and the Bipartisan Infrastructure Group to turn their recent agreement into legislation. On the second track, the Senate Budget Committee continues their work on a FY 2022 budget resolution to enact the remaining elements of the American Jobs and Families Plan, especially provisions on climate change, health care, and the caring economy. I want to thank the senators and their staffs working on both tracks for their hard work during the July 4th holiday. My intention for this work period is for the Senate to consider both the bipartisan infrastructure legislation and a budget resolution with reconciliation instructions, which is the first step for passing legislation through the reconciliation process. Please be advised that time is of the essence and that we have a lot of work to do. Senators should be prepared for the possibility of working long nights, weekends, and remaining in Washington into the previously scheduled August work state, state work period. All right, so there is the letter. As you can see, Chuck Schumer continues to reiterate that these two packages are going to be moving forward on two separate tracks. 
we have the bipartisan package, which is the one we just talked about a couple minutes ago that is endorsed by the Problem Solvers Caucus. And now we have the other track, which is the reconciliation track, which is going to be that massive bill that's pushed through with uh, partisan support. Uh, supported only by Democrats. So it's like two train tracks run in parallel to each other, and both of them have a train on them called a package. One of them is a massive package, otherwise known as a really long train, and the other one is kind of a smaller one, and that is the bipartisan package. So yes, they are moving together at the same time. Here's another key takeaway that I took out of this letter. At the very end there, you heard Chuck Schumer say, he told the senators, please be advised, time is of the essence, be prepared to work long nights, weekends, and potentially even stay into the summer recess. Now we've been talking about this for about, I don't know, a couple weeks now, since this was first originally mentioned um, quite a while ago, where some people have been saying, hey, we may actually stay into our summer recess to get some of this stuff done. Well, here you go. Chuck Schumer, once again, is reiterating that yes, in fact, they may be staying into a portion of their summer recess. Well, I don't know about you, but if you were in that position and you knew that a nice long summer recess was coming, would you work nice and hard to get things done so you can leave on time or... Would you kind of milk it and drag your feet a little bit? Yeah, I'm guessing most of these people are going to work and do what they need to do to get things done so they can leave on their vacation because here's the deal. <laughs> they want to get out of there, right? They don't want to hang around. They want to get out of town. They want to go home for five or seven weeks, whatever, a long, long time for their summer recess, right? Here's another key takeaway, and I noticed this, and um, I just want to throw it out there. In his letter right there, he mentioned the reconciliation bill is in the fiscal year. He actually wrote it as FY, which is fiscal year 2022 for the reconciliation. So I don't know. I feel like that's a subtle detail right there that means like, hey, maybe they actually want to get this budget reconciliation bill done after the new fiscal year begins, which would be October 1st. So kind of a key takeaway right in there, a little subtle message that uh, I saw that and I thought, huh, is he trying to signal to something that actually the reconciliation bill may in fact be passed sometime in October or after, sometime after the new fiscal year begins? Who, I don't know, but I'm reading into it like I'm a detective, right? I am Detective Matt. I am... Not a very good detective, <laughs> but I did see some details right there that make, makes me think a little bit about this. So I will continue to do more research on this, but maybe Chuck Schumer has a little bit of an idea and maybe he's thinking, you know, it's just not possible to get everything we want done with the remaining portion of July. August, they'll be gone most of it. They'll be gone most of September. And then when they return in September, it's gonna be like a couple more weeks and then boom, it's October and the new fiscal year begins. So yeah, maybe they are actually looking at this whole thing saying, yeah, we're just kind of out of time to get the reconciliation done. If that's the case, that means that they're just going to push out stimulus check number four, potentially even longer. As we know, it's going to be contained into that reconciliation bill slash if it is actually added and if it's approved, right? So wow, just not what we wanted to hear. But either way, at least maybe we have a little bit more clarity on everything going forward now, right? So either way, wanted to bring this letter to you as Chuck Schumer just sent this out today to his Democratic colleagues as they will be back in session on Monday. They'll be back right away early next week. So yeah, and they'll be back for just a couple weeks before they leave once again in August. But let's just hope they start hammering down and they actually get something done. And who knows? Maybe they'll actually stay a little bit into their summer recess if they are actually working on the reconciliation bill. Who knows? I'll keep you posted on all that. All right. Hope that helps you out. Make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and of course, go back and check out any of my other over 1,200 videos right here on the channel for you to enjoy. Thanks again. I truly appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next video. I'll see you later.